If you are new to my channel and want to catch up, you can check out my YouTube playlist titled Pure Facts in Prophecy or the same category on John1429.org to watch the eight previous very short videos of this series exposing the long prophesied beast system in Rome. This next prophecy happens to be one of my favorites because in just a few moments you can expose the Vatican in a way that most people find shocking as to how accurate Christian prophecy actually is. This prophecy touches on three separate events in history in just one prophetic verse. If you watched the previous video in the series, you already know about the first two parts of this prophecy being fulfilled by the Vatican during a 1,260 year period in history wherein they came to power and then lost their power. The final part of this prophecy found in Revelation 17.8 is what locks it all down. When speaking of the Vatican beast system, it clearly says, Behold, the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. Now, as you recall from the previous video, the beast that was is fulfilled by the Roman Catholic Church beginning its church and state power in the year 538 AD, where it continued with absolute power until Napoleon sent in General Berthier in the year 1798 AD to remove the Pope from power. When Napoleon did that, it began the time period in the prophecy that says the beast system is not in power. What is prophesied next is for the Vatican to once again receive its absolute church and state power so as to fulfill the yet is portion of this prophecy. And so, did the Vatican regain its church and state power as the Bible said it would? Well, historic record confirms that in the year 1929, the Roman question tonight was a thing of the past, and the Vatican was at peace with Italy. In affixing the autographs to the memorable document, healing the wound of many years, extreme cordiality was displayed on both sides. And it also says in another article, from 11 o'clock this morning, there was another sovereign independent state in the world. At that time, Premier Mussolini, as Italian foreign minister representing King Victor Emmanuel, the first Italian premier ever to cross the threshold of the Vatican, exchanged with Cardinal Gaspari, Papal Secretary of State, representing Pope Pius XI, ratifications of the treaties signed at the Lateran Palace on February 11th. By that simple act, the sovereign independent state of Vatican City came into existence. Prophecy fulfilled. The beast that was is the Roman Catholic Church beginning in 538 AD and continuing until Napoleon inflicted the mortal wound when he sent in General Berthier in 1798 to remove the Pope from power. The portion of the prophecy that says, and is not, has to do with the time period from 1798 until the signing of the Lateran Treaty in 1929, making the Vatican a church and state power once again. Until they signed that treaty, the Pope's absolute church and state power was non-existent. And the portion of the prophecy that says, yet is, is the time period from 1929 to our day, wherein the Roman Catholic Church has been a church and state exactly as prophesied for these last days. Now do you see why this is my favorite prophecy to expose the Vatican beast system? This prophecy is so blunt and so to the point that there is no need of explaining it any further. And again, this can only be understood if in fact the one studying these prophetic facts has already investigated the three previous prophecies that defined each state of this beast's existence throughout the actual and well-documented human history. Those prophecies said that the beast would be in power, it would lose its power, and then regain its power. And so it has. Thank you for watching. God bless.